In this video, I'm gonna give you the truth about cash out refinances. I'm gonna remove all the bullshit. I'm gonna tell you things yeah. that most lenders will not say. And in the end, you're gonna have the information that you need to make an educated decision. I am smoking on that gas. Life should be on Cinemax. Movie, bought my boot bigger tits. So what's a cash out refinance? You see mortgage lenders all over the country advertising like crazy. Why? Well, because people aren't doing rate term refinances. So really the only way for them to stay in business and continue to do mortgages is to convince everybody to do a cash out refinance. Oh no, he didn't. Oh yes, he did. Now is a cash out refinance stupid? No, not necessarily. It can actually save some people a shit ton of money. However, it's not a magic bullet. Silver bullets. It's not the solution that most consumers in this market are gonna want. However, there are still ways for you to tap into your home equity without touching your first mortgage, which I would assume you've got a pretty sweet interest rate considering that 80% of homeowners have a rate somewhere under 4%. So what's a cash out refinance? Well, like the title says, you're taking cash out through refinancing your existing mortgage. You're basically tapping into your home's existing equity, getting that money, into your bank account. Hey, do me a huge favor, by the way. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your questions. Maybe I'll make a video about it. So why do people do cash out refinances? Well, it's pretty simple. At the end of the day, if you were to look at all your available financing vehicles, credit cards, personal loans, a mortgage is always the cheapest avenue, short of your rich uncle that's giving you an interest-free loan. Now, a cash out refinance, typically it's used to consume consolidate high interest debt. That's when it really makes a lot of sense right now, even with interest rates being higher, you can save hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars per month, even taking a higher interest rate. So by the way, that's why some people are doing cash out refinances to pay off debt. A lot of times they'll be doing home improvements. I mean, you know how much a kitchen costs or remodeling your bathroom, putting in a pool, getting a personal loan to do those things versus getting a cash out mortgage. The mortgage is going to have a much lower lower monthly payment. It's going to have a lower interest rate and the term you can go over a 30 year period. Whereas a lot of times when you do personal loans or installment loans, they want their money back a lot sooner, which means that your monthly payment is much higher, which raises the bar of affordability, making it harder for you to afford whatever it is you're trying to pay for. Now with the cash out refinance, you can do anything you want with your home equity. Like I said, a lot of people pay off debt, do home improvements, pay for their kids college tuition. And then there's some people that are straight dumbasses and they pay for European vacations or buy other stuff that really probably not the best financial decision, but hey, guess what? We're in America and it's a free country and you are free to do whatever it is that you want to do with your home equity. Whether or not it's a good decision is not up to the mortgage company. It's not up to me. I don't care what you do with your money. I'm just here to tell you how the process works. Now, there are different types of cash out refinances. Now, the ones that most most lenders are advertising are your traditional refinance where you're changing your existing first mortgage and getting a new first mortgage. But the downside to that is that if you've got a super sweet interest rate, well, rates aren't as super sweet right now. So mathematically, it doesn't always make sense. But like I said, if you're paying off debt or doing something like that, eh, well, you know, that could be a good option. But the other way to tap into your home equity, and I literally, right before recording this video, past client called me up. I did his loan in 2020, which rates were in the twos during that time. He's like, hey, Aaron, I want to tap into some of my equity. How do we make this happen? I pull up his loan. He's got a 2.875% first mortgage. We're not touching that. He's debt free besides his mortgage. It would be crazy to refinance that mortgage. But what we are going to do for him is get him a home equity line of credit, which is a second mortgage that allows him to access his home equity without messing with the first mortgage, without changing the interest rate on that first. So when does refinance financing makes sense. Well, that's the beauty of a refinance is it's just math. It's not like when you bought the house when it was more so emotions along with some math. I mean, yeah, you got to be able to afford it, but it was really about, do you like what the house looks? Can you see your life there? Do you see your kids going to school in the neighborhood, etc., etc.? You've already made those decisions. You're already living there. Now it's just math. It comes down to the numbers, which a refinance, it's all about the numbers. So when does a refinance 
sense makes sense? Well, like I said earlier, you know, if you're paying off debt, if you're going to save a bunch of money, hundreds or thousands of dollars, well, it's probably going to make a lot of sense to do a cash out refinance. If you're looking to put in a pool or do some major upgrades to your home and you're looking at other financing options, well, when looking at a mortgage, assuming that you can afford the new payment, a cash out refinance or a home equity line, it's going to make sense compared to other available options. So how do you get a quote for a cash out refinance or a home equity loan? Without a little bullshit and hassles of having your credit pulled, sending in your income documentation, all to find out that the numbers don't make sense and you just wasted a bunch of time. We've made it very easy for you to get a no hassle, no credit check, no income verification quote so that you can look at the numbers up front. We make it super easy. You can click the link below, answer a few questions, and we'll fire off a hassle-free quote, and we won't blow you up. We're not Rocket Mortgage. We're not running a call center. And hey, worst case scenario, you know that the numbers don't work. No harm, no foul, but you got the information you needed to make an educated decision. Hey, if you haven't already, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. No lie, no lie, no lie, yeah, yeah.